he had been cheating on her throughout the marriage. You know, my thinking is like, well, if someone's doing you wrong, then, then change it. It's the eve of Dr. Newlander's sentencing for the murder of his wife, Leslie, a story and trial that was featured on NBC's own Dateline. Tonight, we sat down with Nevin Roby, a new friend of Leslie's just prior to her death, who was introduced on the Dateline program. Now, NBC3's Lisa Spitz joins us here in the studio tonight with this exclusive interview. Lisa. Well, Matt, they weren't friends for that long, but Leslie Newlander left quite an impression. Both were originally from the New York City area, and they bonded over that. It's now that new friend who wants justice to make sure that it is served tomorrow when Leslie's killer is sentenced. Leslie Newlander was about to start a new life. That's what she told her friend Nevin Roby just days before her death in 2012. She was getting divorced from her husband, Dr. Robert Newlander, and moving on. She was so happy. She was, she was so optimistic. She was about to get a health coaching certification. She, she was going to get her own place. She was very excited. Nevin had always seen Leslie as an upbeat and happy person. He says they had met months earlier at the mall and quickly became friends. She opened up to him about her marriage. She told me that they were fighting, you know, and there was a very up and down, almost, you know, bipolar attitude that, like, Bob, I guess, was having, where he'd, like, come into the bathroom in the bedroom and, like, argue with her, fight about whatever. Days later, Leslie was dead. Authorities were called to her DeWitt home where her husband would say she fell in the shower. Eventually, he would be charged with her murder. Nevin knew the couple had changed their wills shortly before Leslie's death. He always thought the doctor was guilty, as he said in court during the trial. But Leslie's kids and family strongly supported Dr. Newlander, who claimed to be innocent. In April, Dr. Newlander was convicted of murder. After the verdict, Nevin says he visited Leslie's grave. Funny enough, at the grave site, you had a, a path. You had two sides. One side was her kind of by herself, a lot of grass, except guess what, snow covered everywhere. The other side of the path, where there was other gravestones, perfectly grass. The sun had melted it all away, so I moved all the snow out, and I basically let her know, you know, whether she's there or anywhere, I let her know that, you know, the monster is, is going to be put in a cage, and uh, hopefully with sentencing, never get out. To make sure Dr. Newlander remains locked up, Nevin is willing to speak at sentencing. Someone has got to say something. Someone has got to say something to the judge to say, hey, don't give him the minimum. Don't give him the benefit of the doubt. He does not deserve a second chance, no parole. He doesn't deserve any of this. He deserves to stay in there forever. He wants Leslie's children to know they don't have to feel alone. They don't have to feel like they have to grasp onto a murderer. They can grasp onto any of us. We are all here for them. So it's just like stand up, do the right thing, switch sides, don't stand behind him, get over here, talk on behalf of your mom. Nevin is continuing to talk about Leslie. I think it was refreshing for her to be able to talk to someone that is not really part of her friendship circle. He even appeared in a Dateline special about the case. He wants people to know she was loving and giving. He also wants to get the message out that anyone can be a victim of domestic violence. This person was brutally murdered by her husband, and all she wanted was a simple divorce. From a man Nevin simply calls the murderer. This is a bad situation, and he created it all. And, you know, it would be really nice if he would just take responsibility and stop, because he's just ruined everything. And Nevin will be in court tomorrow. Now, we don't know who or if anybody is going to be speaking in court. Obviously, usually that is reserved for close family members. Yeah, and of course, Bill Fitzpatrick and the mm -hmm. prosecution will be speaking on behalf of the people and Leslie yes. Newlander tomorrow, too. Uh, so that we'll hear from the judge tomorrow, and Dr. Newlander will hear from the judge. Yes. Thank you, Lisa.